This morning, I want to cover a variety of topics uh, from Donald Trump planning to take over Chicago to 19 states jumping on board with his federal crackdown, which is a disguise for martial law. And we're going to be talking about how this Planet X nemesis star system is moving into place and how the U.S. government, the Pentagon, is preparing to quell civil unrest that's going to be caused by massive, severe weather and climate conditions and um, basically pandemonium as this leaks out. So <clears throat> we got Bill Maher terrified about Trump's slow-moving coup and uh, um, <clears throat> home purchases are getting canceled at a record rate. We also have uh, exclusive footage from NASA's GOES-19 Core 1, where that object we were analyzing on the previous broadcast, we now have confirmed that it was not the moon and now we might have severe problems it looks like the planet x nibiru nemesis star system has arrived ladies and gentlemen and is really close and it might really start affecting the planet which is why all these governments are preparing to go into martial law especially ours so we can get into <clears throat> all of these topics and more uh right here on the Shepherd and Bella show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and uh, get this information out. There's a QR code up at the top of the screen. You can scan if you like the broadcast. Uh, Trump saying out of our city and uh, our um, officials in Chicago telling Trump, get out of the city. And uh, obviously there's spinning it like these people want crime and, and stuff like that. I've heard this on the broadcast, but it also becomes like a, like a uh, constitutional issue. Like, why are you putting military in the streets to police the American people? But yet, here we go. We got Nemesis star system on the way. So this could be getting crazy. It's saying President Donald Trump on Friday said Chicago will likely be the next target of his efforts to crack down on crime, homelessness, and illegal immigration. Trump indicated that the Midwestern city could receive similar treatment to what's going on in Washington, D.C. Guys, make no mistake, this is going to come to every city, to every town, and there will be curfews implemented, uh, and, and you know there's gonna be food shortages, gas shortages, power shortages, uh, power outages. Things are going to get strange. They're gonna have to have the military on the streets because you got armed Americans who are gonna get crazy. And um, you know I don't agree with the constitutionality of this, and we have Alex Jones and all of them pumping it like it's good, not even mentioning Planet X, right? So that's what uh, we have to look forward to. I mean, <clears throat> this is what's going on. So, uh, the, you know, I warned people about this for three, four months now, and here it is. Now, uh, Trump wants to go into Chicago and send these military in the crack skulls of these youngsters there that carry these Glock guns with switches on them that make them automatic and all this stuff but chicago will be the next target uh the trump administration says and uh, president trump said quote chicago is a mess we'll straighten that one out probably next uh, and then added we'll help with new york so the trump administration getting serious deploying these national guard making it look like it's a thing right but all in all, it is going to uh, just continue to roll out the martial law nationwide. And the Chicago mayor, Brandon Johnson, said on Friday that city leaders haven't heard from the Trump administration about the possible deployment of federal law enforcement. Uh, but, you know, I've seen where military helicopters and vehicles are starting to arrive 
in the city. And uh, I think they're going to deploy, you know, several thousand National Guard, probably, or a thousand at least to start with. Uh, so that's what we're looking at. And this is all with this star system approaching Trump mobilizing 1700 National Guard troops from 19 states. And this is widening. This is essentially what I was talking about, this martial law is spreading. It's, it's going to um, spread all around the continental US, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, other areas. And uh, they're also conducting ICE operations, immigration operations, and using that as a covert cover to round up red listers, American citizens. We all know they're rounding up American citizens. It's even been in the mainstream news. Uh, so, you know, I, I called all this. I said it was going to happen. It's now happening to a T. It's in my book. It's in, you know, we've probably got seven, 800, 900 episodes of the Shepard Ambella show. Now, if I counted them out, I went on a decade and a half ago with Dr. Jason Rand talking about this. And it looks like I was spot on with all this. Now, Bill Maher sounding the alarm on the Trump administration and saying it's a slow moving coup, basically. And he's going right left on this, like he doesn't understand what's really going on and the continuity of government behind the scenes. But he can notice that there's something going on, some type of coup uh, is what it appears like to Bill Maher. And, uh, the, you know, that's but really is what he's seen is this uh, the Trump administration positioning for martial law and continuity of government operations, Rex 84, all of this readiness exercise 84, all of this coming down the pipe quickly. And Americans need uh, to be prepared, obviously. You know, this is uh, n now is the time to be ready and be on your toes uh, with all this. Um, home purchases are getting canceled at a record rate. 15% of all home purchases fell last month. And it, it's just getting bad in the markets out there uh, all together. And they're saying that record prices, elevated mortgage rates and economic uncertainty. Uh, more than 15% of home purchases fell through last month, the highest July rate in records dating back to 2017. Those failed sales amounted to roughly 58,000 canceled U.S. home purchase agreements. So uh, what will happen is Blackstone will come in and purchase these up from the American people. They won't allow people to live in them. And uh, we'll just see more consolidation and more pushing out of the lower and middle income class people in the United States as they start rounding people and hurting them into these camps and whatnot so it could get crazy <clears throat> guys this is posted on sky sweeper live you can go to the youtube channel sky sweeper live right here um youtube.com forward slash sky sweeper at forward slash at sky sweeper live and uh, subscribe and we'll see, I'm gonna roll this video clip because this is the moon right here now. We know this is the moon. You're gonna see a large object down here on the bottom, which I believe to be a brown dwarf star, just like I wrote into my book. This thing's arriving. Now the moon's uh, moving here and then, then we see the, uh, the, the brown dwarf at the bottom, the big. I'll show still images of this as well. Watch that big object go across the bottom, okay? There goes that moon, right? Now, big object on the bottom. Ultraviolet uh, flare. There goes the moon. Large object rolls across the bottom. So, um, we got that going on. Now, James Kaufman, world report was talking about this and i'm going to roll the clip he's starting to realize that my book every word in it was real he's starting to say this is a brown dwarf now just like i laid out in my book that it would be and he's starting to realize this could be 
um, a major problem for Earth. So he's starting to get on board here with this. And, uh, you know, I've been reporting on this for decades, but people are starting to take recognition of my work and, uh, you know, now saying it's a brown dwarf, like I wrote it in my book and put it in my films and stuff. So uh, I have all that documented and you can get my film Shackled to Silence. The link's in the description. Please support the show, scan that QR code. All the products are there. The book you got to get, Amazon Books, Barnes and Noble. Uh, get it while it lasts. It's flying off the shelves. Everyone is starting to realize what I wrote was real. So uh, I'm going to play this clip from Kaufman World Report, and let's see what he's saying. He's starting to figure this out. So for a second time, that is the moon right there about to make a clean pass, and it would be looking about the size of the sun. God is teaching us a lesson here. Uh, you can see the moon come right into picture. You'll see it pass above that. And you'll see this huge object down here. We can no longer call it the moon. No longer even think that it's the moon. Do y'all see it? Look at it. It's not a lens flare. It's nothing of the sort. It's an illuminated huge planet. It might be in the ultraviolet or infrared spectrum so that we wouldn't be able to see it without core one. Can you even believe this? I was so sure it was the moon. Look, there is, there is in fact a secondary, well, relic again, if you look. This is brand new footage, brand new footage. It's like there's a second planet behind it. God is teaching us right now that that's not the moon. Let me show y'all real quickly. That is. First, that's the moon right there. And then you'll see it pass 24 hours from now. Uh -huh. So um, uh, I'm, start, I'm just trying to play with these views, guys. Sorry about that. Unbelievable. I'm trying to see what they all do. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the moon. What in the holy F is this? I thought that I had made a mistake. And that must be the moon because of where it was positioned. But in fact, that is a huge body there. I guess we cannot see it because it's in the infrared or ultraviolet spectrum. Humans can only see three one thousandths of one spectrum. He's right about and that. Then that's that's why these are so hard to see. That same same relic uh, twice, the exact exact same thing happening so now he's not and saying this is planet that we don't nor am I, it. but God um, added, i think i think it might be the moon past right here he actually brought the moon over based and, on the weather ramping up up and everything that's going on uh that very well could be the uh nemesis star system so we'll see uh ladies and gentlemen how this all uh goes i'm trying to figure out um this uh service all right here we go so anyways guys i'll be back on later mouse mouse is going to be joining us we're going to have some other guests on and it's going to be an amazing broadcast. Uh, Mouse Mouse has got some exclusive pictures, uh, some photographs from some of these Greco-Roman structures in the U.S. And we're going to analyze uh, this, go over the Comet Atlas, all the propaganda, everything that's going on. We're going to tie it all in. Guys, make sure and go to this youtube.com forward slash at Skysweeper Live and subscribe over there. Also support the show, QR codes up there, links in the description. I'll see you guys later, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central today.